Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to import free materials in Blender because some people can't afford add ons like, um, what do you call it? So, like Sanctus Library, that's got like all these materials. So, you can see, uh, let me just build ins. And you obviously got to pay for this. So, not everyone can afford it. Um, so, what I thought I'd do is show you how to import materials for free. It's actually really easy, a little bit more work, but very simple and it's free, like I said. So first thing you want to do is go to edit, preferences, type in node, and enable node wrangler. Okay, just check it, save preferences, go out here. Okay, now, now what you want to do is go to a website like Polyhaven or you can go to uh, Quixels or a couple, you can just literally type in free blender materials and find what you're looking for so let's just find one so what i'm going to do is you can see they're actually very very nice materials so let's go with and what you can do is you can search for one you want so say you want metal just click on it download what you want but what i'm going to do is just go with a ground material so let's go with let's go with this okay then what you want to do is click here and go to zip and then copy these settings so what i'm going to do is just change these and what i do is just uncheck this uncheck this uncheck that uncheck this and then change these this one check check and then just make these jpegs and then let's make a 2k for now make it a little bit smaller then just download it okay once it's downloaded just click here Go to where you downloaded it and then unzip it. So extract, boom. And then just put it away somewhere that you know where it is. So I'm going to move it to documents. And then let's go back to Blender. Okay, and then once you're done, you can go back to Blender and just add a cube or a plane or whatever. Let's go to cube. So shift A, mesh, cube. Okay, what I'm going to do is just go to tab, right click subdivide and just subdivide about 20 times okay then what i'm going to do is click here go to shading and zoom in that hit new and then click on the principal bsdf hit Control shift t and go to where you downloaded your material and then just drag over it click there and it brings it in okay then what you want to do is go to tab and hit u and just hit q projection and look how nice it looks okay if i got a layout boom boom and look how nice and detailed the material looks okay just also go control a apply the scale and now what you can do is go back to shading and let's go here yeah, boom okay and then what you could also do it's very very nice this material is you can go here yeah, bring the strings up it's like five and it just kind of makes it a bit darker you can bring it all the way up and it's a little bit of overkill you can always bring it down and that looks good and you can apply this to like a plane so delete it Boom, Shift A, Mesh, Plane, S, Scale it up, Shading, same thing, New, click on the principal BSDF, Shift, Control Shift, sorry, T, drag this over, bring it in, and there we go. So, quick video, hopefully you enjoyed it. I just wanted to mention I've got a Patreon, so if you if you like checking it out, go ahead, link in the description, helps me out, but no pressure, up to you, but yeah, otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.